Awful. Hey, what's up, Earth? This is the Real Maker, Aka the Macroid, and today we are back with another snapshot. And this time it's on a Wednesday because there was no snapshot uh, last sad last Wednesday. So I just thought I'd do it today just for fun, maybe just to get right on the day. So. Hopefully this works for you guys. If you guys want me to do it like this more often, please let me know in the comments. So I know if you guys want me to do it on Wednesdays instead of doing like snapshot Sundays or Saturdays. Be like, what's new Wednesdays or what's new weekends or something like that. Anyways, before we start off this video, I'd like to, I'd like you all to notice that my hand is different. Yeah. If you guys saw my first snapshot video, I have mentioned my skin and I um, was considering changing it. Well. I changed it. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a, I'm I'm currently taking like classes in digital media technology, and for a project, I decided to do a Minecraft skin. So I found out how to make one and design one myself. I got my logo on my chest, and I should have a hood. Yeah, there's my hood a bit. I may I may make a better one later, but this is the best I got right now. Comment down below if you like this skin, and uh, tell me if I should update it because. I kind of do think I should update it. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't do like an HD uh, uh, wolf, uh, thunder wolf on my chest because what I need to make the skin is a 64 by 64 pixels, and the image for the wolf thing was not under 64 pixels. So this is the best I got for the wolf thing, but I still think the skin looks really good. Aside from like my hair, it's not completely accurate. But yeah, I just want to show this off to you guys before we start the video. Speaking of today's snapshot, this little snapshot, as you can see behind me, is all about the uh, stalactites and stalagmites, the dripstone, as they're called. And as you can see, we got all these things here. Let me just switch over. We got uh, all these. We got. Bleh. I'm just, I'm just going as I go. Sorry for my bumpy speech. It's a problem of mine. Uh, so yeah, we got the stalagmites and stalactites. They are very sharp. Like if you hop on them, that you'll uh, get hurt. I'm in creative mode, so I can't. Actually, hang on one second. Let me get up here and uh, switch to survival mode. Yep. See, they. Ow. Okay. Oh. Wait. Okay, so you can just jump on them and they'll still hurt. Okay, so that's good to know. Good to know. So yeah, this is pretty much the only things that are added. They you can't find them naturally in the world yet. As it says in the change log, which I'll leave a link to in the description. You can't find them in the world yet, but you can still play where I'm with them creative mode. So yeah, these are just added. They are not able to be found yet. But they're still pretty cool and all that. Like, apparently, uh, they are an infinite water source, as you can see here. I'll get to this in a bit. They can drip water down. At least these can. And uh, they can hurt people. Do you can I think you actually drop them, like if you break them. Just, I'm just gonna break this one. Yeah, see, they can break them. And I'm just gonna get put this back. Just, just wanna put these back. Also, in the change log, it said some. It said somewhere that you can that you can use a trident, which is why I have this trident here. Where'd it go? Ah, oh, hang on a second. So yeah, you should be able to use a trident to knock these things down. I'm wondering if you can do it with arrows. I'll test that in a second. But yeah, if I just throw it. There we go. That's nice. And look, it dropped all five of them. 
Alright, so I'm gonna get a bow, see if it works. Oh yeah, there's the water particle that can drip off it. I'm just uh yeah, just let me there we go. this stuff and let me get a bow real quick. Okay, so I got a bow and crossbow, so I'm just gonna shoot a bow. No, I will do the third one. Okay, so arrows don't seem to work. What about a crossbow? Does that have more power? Nope. Looks like they can't do anything. So these are impervious to arrows, but you can't get hurt with them. Jack, I kind of want to see... Can I get hurt with them? Actually, I can't really do that. If I had a Kario one, I'd have him, have him drop one on me, but it's not really going to work. It just dripped a particle on me. But yeah. These are the new stuff, and here's also something here. You see, I have this little thing here. Now, these things can, like, if, as you guys saw, they can drip water, and they can also drip lava, apparently. As you guys, so, up here, there's water. I have a little water thing right here above the left uh, stalactite, and lava above the right stalactite. Now, the left one will be dropping water, as you can see right there, into the cauldron. And the right one... You can see a particle, please. Particle. Particle. Well, for some reason, I think the lava one takes a lot longer than the water one, or maybe it's equal. I think it just happens randomly. There it is. But yeah, they'll drip into these cauldrons and they should fill them up. Though I've had them running a little bit, like not that much. They haven't filled the cauldrons up just yet. Two droplets! I haven't seen that yet. Bet, I bet I'm not going to see it out of you. Alright, so... Yeah, they should fill up those cauldrons in time. They will do it later in the video. We'll check on, we'll check on them at the end of the video. But yeah, that's pretty much all this about the selectites. Now, to, so, now on to some other changes. Alright, so another a new change that was added was to the bundle. So, I should have some bundles right here now. So... I got some bundles of things that were that I used in today's video. So here's one bundle for the next thing. Watch out. Watch out. I'll just use this one since I used it. So here's a bundle from the thing. And now instead of releasing them all at once, you can release them all one at a time. And if you and oh wait. And if you also use a bundle wall in your hotbar, it will just throw all, all the items. So I kinda think it's pretty cool how it just throws them out. I like the animation. I just like that. I don't understand it. I don't understand why I like it. That's what I meant. It's still pretty cool though. I like that you can just drop them. But yeah, you can still like stuff uh, bat bundles, uh, bundles. And I have seen recently like there's like a glitch to where you can duplicate stuff. I was going to do it, but unfortunately I don't know how to find a video. And plus, I didn't watch the full video, other videos. Keep changing. The developers keep fixing the glitch, but I think it might stay for the... For the uh, actual Minecraft thing, who knows? But yeah, that's pretty much all it for the bundle. I think. Let me check the change log. Uh, using bundle now throws out its entire content into world. Uh, advanced tooltips now show how full the bundle. Okay. But uh, yeah, that's some changes to the bundle, and that's pretty much it for the bundle. So the next thing that is changed is resulted to these blocks. Well, blocks and items. So. We got changes. We got more texture changes to these items here. We got texture changes to the i, the uh, the item look, the handheld look of the candle. Is that being two candles in the hot arts too? Is that being two candles in the hot arts? One candle that makes much more sense to me because like if you have two can, you get, it looks like two candles, and it goes and yet you break out one. I don't know. We also got changes to. The normal amethyst block and the uh, budding amethyst block, but we also got change, some texture changes to some old items. As you guys remember, the clock and the compass. So we're just gonna look at them in the world. So yeah, these the budding amethyst now look like more like they have a crack in them. So now you can clearly tell the difference. As you can see, this one's cracked. This is budding. This one's not cracked. This one is not budding. It's normal. And the candle is just a single candle now, which is much better for me. Well, it just looks better than me. And I, I think I like this new texture for the, for the body name of this and block band of this. It looks, it looks more like the original texture design, and I think it must, looks much better. And yeah, so like here's the clock and the compass. Now I, I did, I did stop the, uh, 
uh, day cycle, so the clock's not going to move or anything. But yeah, they look much more shiny, much more golden, much more irony. Iron, I, I don't know what the word for that is. But yeah, it's really cool. They're really nice textures, a nice uh, reboot for them. And they just look really cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's head to the next item. So the next thing that changed is, I'm just going over this. It's a technical change, but it's a good change that is uh, fixed for this snapshot. So if you guys remember, in the last snapshot, we had Powder Snow. Also, I forgot to... I forgot to mention that this is snapshot uh, 20A48, wait, no, 20W48A, so they skipped, and the last one was, 20, was 46, so they skipped over 40, 47, I don't know why, why skip over a 7? I love 7. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so yeah, the powder snow is pretty much the same thing as last time, but what was glitchy last time was the armor, so I'm just going to go in survival mode, that's not survival mode. So yeah, I'm in survival now, and uh, we're going to be putting this leather armor on. So we're putting this full leather armor on. And in the last update, it was supposed to be that you should not take any freezing damage at all from these blocks if you were wearing full leather armor. So I have not tested this, so we're just going to see if it is working. It was glitched out in the last episode, last video. And uh... Yeah, we're not getting freezing. No, we don't have the freezing particle. So let me take out the helmet and it should start, I think. Is it starting now? Maybe it's just much slower. Let's take off another piece of armor. Oh, wait, wait hold up. I'm taking off almost all my armor. And... Okay, okay. Wait, hold up. Okay, so it looks like they changed it to like only one piece of armor can keep you from freezing. So, I, if it's only one piece of armor, then I guess you should just wear leather boots. It does make more sense to have full of the armor on. But I guess it's much better to have it with one so you can save leather for other things. If you guys, now I use, I need like a lot of leather for like uh, some farms that I have. Like I know of like a cow farm and I need leather for books. So... Yeah, you're going to need a lot of leather, and this would be a good time saver. It would be cool, nice to have other leather armor in case. But it's okay to just have it just the one. But yeah, freezing damage, freezing damage is the same. And there was actually something I forgot to mention in the last snapshot. What I saw in another video. So, yeah, I'm just going to switch back over to creative. And then get this, get this bucket out. So yeah, what I forgot to show you guys is that these blocks do not have gravity. So, in the video I saw, the guy was like perplexed that the powder snow should kind of be like a gravity affected block because it's powder and it's a light kind of snow. Because um, like, if you guys know what I mean, like snow falls because of gravity. Like it's pulled down by gravity and so many other blocks. But the powder snow apparently is not. I don't know if they'll change that in the future, but it kind of could. They probably should, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the powdered snow. I think that's actually everything that's covered in this video. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. So yeah, new skin, new skin, new stuff, new. We got slash tight. So we're getting closer. We're getting closer to new uh, items for the snap for 1.17. We haven't. We have not got any cave updates yet. Like nothing changed for the caves. Uh, I think. Though, I have been playing, like, the 1.17 snapshots, like, in my own personal Minecraft world, but, and there are, it does feel like there are some Minecraft cave changes, like, with all those, uh, Amethyst stuff going around, it still kind of feels like it's changing, like, the caves are kind of changing. Like, I found, like, this cool ravine that feels like it looks like a real cave. That, that could be just a rare seed, but it could be part of the changes. But yeah, that... I think it's pretty much it. Mostly everything else is uh, tech, uh, ch changes to uh, some bugs. And there is a technical change where you can do a game rule. Uh, let me go to game rule. Game, game rule freeze damage. You can, so yeah, you can pretty much allow, have a, uh, what's it called? Uh, this powder snow either not get freeze damage or get freeze damage. So. So you know what? We'll test that real quick. Freeze damage, uh, false. Now I'm going to take off my boots, and 
I'm gonna walk in these, and I should not get freeze damage, but I should still freeze. Hang on, let me go to survival mode just to check. One more heart, still go blue. Yeah, so no freeze damage, but if I do the opposite freeze damage, I can't spell true. True. Okay, so I got the blue hearts now, and freeze damage true. There we go. Freeze damage false. Nothing's happening. Now I don't now I don't know if it says anywhere that the powder snow is found somewhere throughout the world. But I guess it's okay if it's not not for now. Is there still testing out stuff? I mean these snapshots came like really, really early, so I get so I guess they're they're just adding in new blocks for now. So the changes will new changes probably might come in this future, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the snapshot. See, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video and also hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more. And so you can become a Ripta today and see join me more on on more adventures. Sorry for my sorry for my stuttering. It's a it's a habit. Uh, it's a habit when I don't plan things out that well. I plan things out a little bit. I'm trying to plan things out a little bit more like I did in the last episode because that went much quicker, and it's doing much better. See, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like. Hit the subscribe button. Also hit that little bell so I can ring you in when I make another video. Also comment down below if there's something you liked in this video or if there's something you want me to do in this dimension or another dimension or reality. Please just tell me. Just be sure to keep it appropriate. And uh, comment down below if you like my new skin. Like if you want me to do more skins like this. I made this with uh, Adobe Illustrator. And it looks really good. Though there is a small flaws. But I think it's still really good. I may, I'll make it, I may make another one in the future. Just to like give this one some more detail to it but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next dimension bye realmaker out